Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Yashika. Hope you all are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how to submit an incident form. If you are a new in service now, then you will definitely going to love it. For the new users, this is a basic video to learn how to submit an incident. So let me open the incident application. Just uh, navigate to the all. Open the navigator and right here incident okay so open you can click on all incidents and click on the new yes here are some mandatory fields caller short description we have to fill those mandatory fields okay so let me show you how it works so suppose <coughs> sorry uh, myself is a system administrator okay so let me make a caller to myself okay okay this is by mistake see this is system administrator it is mine okay so i am raising an uh, incident and what is the category like software hardware network database suppose uh, i am choosing a database okay subcategory is like db2 ms sql server oracle i am having problem with oracle okay which service you want like uh, it services okay and configuration item suppose in database uh, in which configuration item like uh, you are having problem okay these are the my rcis so let me dot net framework okay short description as for now i am writing here testing suppose you have problem like in your oracle your oracle is not working fine or if you are raising a incident for the category network and your uh, email is not going fine or having a protocol issue network issue you can give a short description of that <clears throat> same thing here is a state new okay so what is the meanings of the state new in progress whenever is the state new like uh, it is in a new state now it's raising whenever someone it's assigned to someone and someone is going to work on it then it would be in progress suppose uh, it is assigned to xyz team okay and uh, xyz team is working on this incident and uh, he needs uh, xyz team needs some clarification from the caller like from the user what is the like uh, is this working fine or need some uh, re extra requirement so <clears throat> xyz team can put this incident on hold and uh, if it uh, incident has been resolved like uh, your problem has been resolved then xyz team can put this incident on the resolved state and closed state okay so this is the meaning channel channel is that like uh, over chat email phone on which behalf like uh, assigned to two person can contact you okay so suppose i am raising an incident on behalf of my friend so i am like uh, putting here email not email over phone okay <clears throat> so that a person assigned to person can contact him on phone because i am raising an incident on behalf of someone same here impact urgency priority we have three uh, fields here if uh, priority depends on the impact and the urgency what is the impact of this incident on your business and what is the urgency urgency you can say like uh, if the whole team is facing a same issue like email is not going okay or uh, network is not working fine and the whole team is face facing this issue then its urgency is critical okay it urgency should be high because uh, whole team is not is facing that issue and it is impacting the business obviously if one person is facing that issue then you can say that urgency is low okay because it because it is not impacting the business that's too much and if few members of the team are not facing this issue then you can say that uh, urgency is 
medium and depend priority depends on the impact and the urgency it will change automatically suppose i will show you if i put impact high okay and urgency medium c priority goes changes to the high this is a back end data lookup table here for the priority so impact and urgency are changing from there okay so now i am assigning this uh, incident i'll assign to suppose uh, help desk okay and assigned two person should be okay there is no person in assigned to okay so assignment group i have assigned to the help desk person they will contact me or they will work on that and just click on the submit it's loading yeah this is my incident which i created so it's been created uh, and this is the c notes activities configuration item this impact high incident state new open by system administrator priority too high so here is the work note whoever is working can write here ask something for you and put this incident on hold and if you want to like give extra information you can also like uh, call me uh between 1 to 3 pm okay you can add it you can add it to the notes or to the activities like uh, you have uh, given your time time zone like call me between 1 to 3 pm then the assigned person can call, uh, will call you between this time zone only because he is able to see this work notes able to see this activity like you have mentioned something so if you want to give extra information you can give here and if uh, assigned to person wants extra information from your side then he can also put comments here okay so this is the incident and these are the SLAs like uh, priority to response SLAs, resolution in progress, response in progress, uh, resolution eight hours for the like uh, high priority. There are two SLAs, eight hours resolution and one hour. You can change it through your like uh, for your client as per your client requirement also. This is by default. Okay, so this is about the how to submit an incident how to create an incident if you want to create an incident you can just follow these steps you can be able to do that so thank you hope you enjoyed this video have a great day